How, as anyone in the world knows or cares, you no longer exist. What is this place? This is your second chance. What do you want from me? Your past. So first, thanks for another exciting movie. You know, entertainment, action to, to end the year. It was like a thrill to watch, you know. Working with uh, Michael again, and like I know Michael and, and you work with Justin. Like, what, how's the familiarity when you work back with a fellow actor and a fellow director? Like, how does that make the, the shooting process any, any different? Well, you know things. You you don't jump into the unknown. You know that uh, you're going to work with very committed persons, uh, especially on a movie um, which is, you know, kind of a blockbuster style movie. But you know that there's, there's going to be a vision behind the story because Justin Kersel is, is, is a true artist with a very strong vision. And, um, and he's an amazing director for actors. Um, and you know that you're gonna, you know, there will be a lot of joy working together again because Macbeth, as intense and stressful as it was for me, um, was one of the greatest experiences I had as an actress. And, um, and what we shared and the dynamic that, uh, uh, that was created uh, between the three of us is something that is unbreakable. And um, so I knew that it would be an amazing experience, uh, especially with, a, with such an entertaining uh, script and, and, uh, and at the same time very profound quest questions. Uh, in the story and and um, and fascinating concept uh, like the um, the genetic the genetic memory yeah. concept you yeah, know a... what is this I'm sorry Carl this is not the way I like to do things and don't do it ah! what do you want from me your past Listen to me carefully, Cal. You're about to enter the Animus. What you're about to see, hear, and feel are the memories of someone who's been dead for 500 years. Wait a minute. Synchronization achieved. Commence regression. New twist on kind of what we've seen with futuristic so one, one big part of this movie is the leap of faith. And um, whether in your career or personal life, what do you think like your biggest leap, leap of faith has been that has gotten you from where you were then to, to now? Um, Macbeth was a leap of faith, being French, having the opportunity to um, to be Lady Macbeth in English and Shakespeare's language, um, it was. I mean, I, I hadn't. I was. I was. I freaked out um, the whole shooting because of the pressure of Shakespeare, the pressure of being in a British movie as a, you know, being French, uh, working in on the accent, the rhythm, and everything. That was definitely uh, a leap of faith. Do you think that pressure brought the best out of you, like to be under that pressure, or? or? I don't. I don't know. I have no idea. I, um, I I cannot be the one to to judge my work because I'm I'm very hard. Sometimes maybe too hard, but I mean, in my opinion, never, never too hard. But. Um, but no, I. <laughs> well, if I'm the judge, I think you did excellent there. And well, thank you very much. <laughs> and it's a pleasure to sit here and talk to you, and can't wait to see you on more films. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.